He's hiding back. Smoke up. Zinq's gonna walk into it, looking for a fire start target. The Hex instantly being popped up. It's behind the back. They hit the three men with the two man's arms as well. Stuck inside the wall. They've got nowhere to go. Raise the can get himself a good start off. And he got the Doom over on Darkseer. SK's already gone down. He'll fight back, but now you'll start to see Exism do its work. Chris in the back lines. The stun 4-3-0. Man, they've got to kill this guy. The Pulse Noble is just ripping through the Meepo. He's looking for some more control, but he cannot survive. The Aegis Immortal. It is gonna burn. Now CK with his BKB. He wants to fight. He'll find Zinq. No Barrett break again. This will be a dieback from him as Meepo returns for his second round, but they're still battling in the X's of the Hex on the lower. They're looking after the target. Over on Innocence, but Faith Beyond, these never ending AoE stunts. But Chris, he's got to get out. He's so low. The E Blade pop Faith Beyond can't connect onto him. And he's done that. Backs him away from the Meepo. Protect this Meepo at all costs. Whisper is doing his job, and they can turn their attention to the big beast. It is never end to bring down this Death Prophet and then force the lane. You know they want more, and you know they're gonna get more. The three seconds done. And Amber goes to there doing do it. Do things all the time, but nowadays in Dota, you never want to be the team that has to find kills. Whereas this game, you know, casually farming the map, but we want to make a move, go for it. No real cooldowns to worry about. The trap's gonna come out oh, of the jug. He's in trouble. He was watching the Juggernaut There's farming, and they have to hold him back. Magnus oh will end up God, falling there. while in mid. They're gonna take absolutely everything. E hard because the track just tanks through it. Baron's back will come out. Have they got the damage? No. Oracle still there giving in all the life he needs with the fallout roll. Whisper will fall. And that just leaves one last Jericho bring down the wall. Oh god. That is five players mopped up, and this could be a very fast game too, Kyle. Just an easy game to play. Mm -hmm. No more DPs left, please. Oh, another smoke gank. Hoofstop will be able to connect, and Zinq, oh. Shackle, Lock, Faith Beyond's gonna arrive with the Storm Bomb. Oh, oh, yeah, he's oh, just oh, living through this. Ferrari gets into the back line. He's killed off Jericho. Zinq's not even bloody dead. Oh, boy. In fact, he's actually getting a solo kill on Stinger. Oh, life is hard. They've at least got a bit of a trap down, but here comes Zinku charging in. That the is. immortal hero of Ehome just wants to stand his ground, work with Neverend as they chain stun up K1. Another jump forward. Whisper does his job. The cleave damage is getting through Ehome. But reincarnation will bring him back up. Finally, Chris Luck will arrive, but the Hellfire Blast burning through a massive and wants to also be connected. But it's Neverend who's just always there working with Ferrari to drag back that Templar assassin. A triple kill for Ferrari. And it's just non-stop from Eharm. You will win a long engagement if you're Alliance. Wind Strike, they're still just hunting. They're smoking. They've got the power spike. They're looking for their target. They found one right towards mid lane. That's going to be Voxy. Storm Spirit oh, jumping time. through him into the back lines. Looking to do for the kill over on Lil. Lava oh, starting oh, control. Oh. Ancient Apparition. There's your damage coming in from Vesh. They want on to Kuman as well. The Soulbind locking him together. The Silence will be bounced back. Thanks to the Lotus Orb. But then the Storm Bolt does the same thing. That low cooldown. Mika can get so many of them off. The Fire Strike. Maybe they have enough time. Voxy's held back. It's a good start. A good control. Kuman goes down. That's that bonus one second they had to work with. Now it's non grata. Under Sentry Ward. He has to back up from this. He's playing on the edge of it. Now the virus strike. Lotus Orb, send her on back. Back towards Mickey. But non grata, you'll set her up as well. Now Wraith King, he's rejoined oh. the fires. Mickey pushed up the hill away from Silent. Kiting at the Wraith King, but the burn is still there. Mickey needs the distance. He's going to survive of basically nothing. They want to fight up on top. Maybe they can catch out Silent and Tiger's gonna do it. You'll set her up looking for the perfect timing, trying to dodge it with the Manta Star, but it won't help when Bramble so is dead. down. And my god, 80 seconds he's down, and it looks like Windstrike will want to do something with it. Like SK's jump forward, but non grata. Silent, there's his jump. He gets the Fuse of Blade off, so he's able to get revenge at least onto the man who starved this whole engagement. But Boxy moves in. He's gonna find his own kill, and maybe Windstrike Kuman. Does he have to damage Boxy? He jumps in, they can hold him, but no! Lil hits the Echo Slam, Boxy and Quofa, they take so much damage, but only Boxy is the one to die, while Mickey is just going ham, a triple kill for him, he's focusing Kuman with that Scotty, so he can't just walk away, but now he's in trouble, he needs life, and he's got at least a bit of it, but the stun from Lil, the timing, the streak is ended, and Silent is the one to do it, definitely making that buyback worth it. And look, they want more. They are not done yet. Morphling has buyback available. He's gonna try and he's gonna use it. They're all coming in right now. Insania, the shields are up. Here comes the ship. Everyone from Windstrike. They're just Delta splitting at the moment, but they want the big man. They want to try and kill up the Spectre. There'll be a huge kill. Two minutes on the sideline. Another Fissure. Lil's giving as much control as he possibly can, but you can't control Mickey. He is too damn big. 
110. Keep in mind the death that happened in this fight is his only one so far. A triple kill for him. The smoke, they Can they see find the it? Oh, the bear got pulled back up. He's going to be up on the high ground. Now, no fear. The last zone oh, is on the wall. Wall is instantly down. He'll get himself to death ultimate by him back. It'll take a very long time to walk to the front line. Special Horn also being committed. Maybe they have themselves a target. The Yule Scepter up. It's Meke on the front line looking for his damage in the Kuruman. And the Ice Blast is coming as well. A quick spirit jump away. So Ice Blast will be completely ineffective. Go Lil looking for his own target. They've got the back lines, but it's actually. Woo! Lil just got sliced up by Sven. The real knight knows how to wield a sword and he wants more of a fight. Lotus off to protect oh, and the moment with a double snowball stun. The Battle Bonds and Rock finally connected, but well, how much damage does Windstrike got left? Box getting into the fight. Silas getting his own no damage. They're adding the damage with a side of fist. They're all going down. Silas and all no looking for the full rampage. Give it to him. He's going to go down as well. It's Kuman who takes the kill. The Lions almost all dead. They found the Tusker over on the side. He's underneath his own shrine. The Kuman with the Spirit Committal. Tiger, he's going to go Invis. Yep. The Sheepers will slow him down. Gotta He's trying to do this. Here comes the uh, attack. You've got the attack to get the, get the Tuscar down, and he will fall. But the defense, home is in trouble. Nongrata is doing the best he possibly can to keep it alive. The observer and Sentry he has. He's got some information, but he may walk under Ooh. the Observer and Sentry. The left. Strike. Now here come a, here come Windstrike towards the Tier 4 Towers. They just plant Spectre in base as well with the Abyssal. Koifer's gonna shadow play forward. He's looking Making for the play, it. But it's gonna be through back door. He wants to end it. Lasso, it will be able to connect. ES being pulled back again. He's got the Echo Slam. Oh, he needs to get it off. Now you come over the Echo Slam. He's going in and he's got a TP. Sven's TPing it as well. They're gonna bring in multiple. Oh Lilith here. Running. He needs to get We're the chase back. 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 off. Koifer is here as well. They're looking for the Sun in a full phase race. The damage. They're it's getting through. Alliance 67 minutes in. They go for the shady play. And it pays off. Against win strike. They didn't see it coming. He held the left. They had no vision. Especially with the sounds he makes. Lead off initiation on a Faith Beyond. There's immediately going to be the boat as Yield Scepter buys a little bit of time. Faith Beyond's actually going to be pretty tanky here. He's going to dole out a lot of damage before he eventually dies. A rapid swing there from Mickey. He's able to. Ooh, nice charge as well. The goal makes his back line. And they have fatal bonds on these heroes, but it looks like they just don't really have the damage to back it up. These warlocks getting cleaned up. Leshrac dying and the Kunkka getting caught. There pretty much goes all their damage. A Spectre with no ultimate. There's the double lasso. Pango one is quite good if you actually have damage. Unfortunately, this is a pretty poor four position. Pango sitting in the trees. Mickey waiting to throw out his ultimate. Will finally throw it out with the Rolling Thunder. Making the initiation. They need to be able to burst out Faith Beyond. They get a beautiful chain stunning onto him. Tiger looks for Marvel with a jump up with the shield crash. Man, to get one more stun onto the Terra Blade. But he's looking for the Sunder target. Will he be able to get him? Does manage to get him, but doesn't really heal anything whatsoever. And Mickey is still staying on top of him. Does manage to get him the shackles. Holding in Mickey for the moment. Just trying to save Neverend. They do give him a heal as well. Neverend fighting out. Now Pops Meta is laying damage in a box. He ripped him apart with a Fatal Bond. Doing extra damage over to Mickey as well. Who's going to fall next? Koi He's going to be run down as he's slowed by the Omni Knight. Can't quite get away and can't blink away either. He'll turn around and stun him for a moment, but everybody from E-Home is here. You can't get away, Koi, for five dead from Alliance. A beautiful team fight. And this might actually mean that uh, E-Home looks for fight. Yeah, but unless they get uh, Innocence picked up first, they don't have the... Oh, he throws the Ravage down! I'm not sure if this is a fight they actually can take. Never and goes in. They do have a very blocked off Koifer right now. He needs the help of the Oracle. Now the oh, Echo yeah, on the three. That's going to control up everyone. Ferrari for 30 totally out of mana. He just took so much damage from Mickey and uh, Taiga's Earthshaker combined. He does have a buyback, but... This oh, is going to be trouble for E-Home as Innocence is going to die back now. What an echo. Faith Beyond is probably going to get caught now as he gets rooted out by Boxy. He was sitting on top of a shrine, healed up earlier, will be able to make it back to his base on time. Here comes those buybacks. It's going to be one out from the Medusa. They start hitting this tier two. The rest of Windstrike having a smoke up behind him. All of Ender Gates is on the way, and they've actually found the initiation on the Grim Choke first. They throw out the goal and be able to stun on two. The Ice Blast is on its way. That's going to wipe out Jericho, but he does manage to get the Soul Blind on it too, where Chris Logan is going to try real hard to finish up these heroes. Fortunately, that is going to wear out eventually. Lil's able to get away. He bounces into Chris Luck, trying to finish him off, but too much magic damage. He's trying to run down the Ancient Apparition next, pulling back in. Nagrata as well. K1 almost getting him. Getting away from the Sandstorm. Couldn't get away from Silent though. As Silent now stunning up Darkseer as well. Oh, That's a wipe. And Vergesa, they may have gotten the OD to start the fight. They may have... And, and Vergesa, I mean, they're 
they're taking advantage of it. They've won three lanes. Yeah, they're, they're pushing down. They don't apparently care that the golem's down. They're just gonna go for it with the BKB activated from Kumin, trying to kill Whisper, but he actually saves himself with the Glimmer Cape and the Guardian Greaves. Now they turn, getting all that side blade damage onto the Ember Spirit. They can just keep walking him down, but he jumps over, managing to get the chain onto two, going for the Chen. Now trying to clean up Lil, jumps through and managing to get that kill as well. Whisper with all his magic damage running down Silent, who doesn't have the spin up for two seconds. That's TA everyone. eventually dies. Four dead on the side of Windstrike, and, and apparently Ember Gangster were very right. They don't need Golem almost ever, it seems, Not to win a fight. They're just gonna poke for now, but they should just let this Raking hit for yeah. free. The Primal Split even gonna be used. They're just gonna make sure that Windstrike cannot feel comfortable getting inside that pit. No Fear is already charged on through. Aegis, Cheese, and an Agonims is gonna be available. And now the BKB activated by Stinger as he goes for the Shackles on a Silent. Kumin's gonna try and bail him out just by beating down the Shadow Shaman as best as possible. Stops that big Disabler. The uh, Sven thrown up in the air right now. Still has BKB with the vacuum going down. But now Pops has got strength. Who's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for Chris Luck. He managed to get him with the Disabled. That's gonna be the Aegis turned around. That's gonna be Darkseer dead as Key One marches forward. They really want to be able to take down Silent right now. K1 will be able to hit him with right, right, the Ember. Ember is going to be able to get him. That. No, Komen died. He managed to get the Ember. He's dead for two minutes. Silent's also going to be dying here in a second, but the Glover came. He's going to be able to buy him some dying. He's got the chains on the K1. K1 has the reincarnation though, and he's so hard to fight right now. They cannot afford to really focus too much on him. Otherwise, he's going to get that AoE blast. Silent, well, but they are going to be able to commit. Silent, going back in. He's got to be careful. Take out the Brewmaster first. That's what they decided finally is the No Fear. Gets the charge, but the Ghost Scepter actually bought him enough time there. The Ethereal Blade, rather, gets Whisper enough time with no damage to be able to blink away and TP out. And they're gonna be able to reset off of this. Potentially find. Nope, right and here. they do find him indeed. Peter Pan Dam, they are gonna be able to get the chains out, but obviously their support is in. 33 goes to the back line, he instantly gets hexed. He thought he was gonna be able to get the clap into the primal split, and he's right, he does manage to get it off just in time. Go for ASD, perhaps. He does have the Aegis, though, so instead, maybe they want Siler. He does have the Song of Siren, pops it now. Get the reset, serious. Waiting for the last track to come back down to Earth and see if he can land the split Earth. He's gonna go for Peter. Misses! A little bit late there on that one. Still looking to be able to run down these heroes as he has the Aegis and the Yule Scepter. A body shield out as well. There is going to be a turning and fighting. Sogger, Silent, he's actually dead. He actually went too far. And Sox caught him with a beautiful Shackles. ASD in his first life will manage to clean up at least the troll. They need but he's surrounded again. by so many heroes and they've got too many disables. There's not much he can do here. He's just gonna get chain stunned up. Sirius losing their first fight of the game when they have had an 11,000 net worth lead. They're gonna try and take away the shrine that's near Roshan. Oh, making the initiation again onto the Abaddon. Very surprised by this one. Now they're gonna catch him with the telekinesis. Oh no, he activates his BKB. They can't afford to lose that magic community too early in a fight. Silar, he's bouncing back the rain fire blast onto Silar. And they're a little bit split right split now. Up. This is an opportunity for Nip for sure. They're gonna reach forward. Nice imprisonment onto Rubik and then go for the other ones. They're gonna move upwards. See if they can catch anybody. The rest of uh, most of Sirius have connected together. It's only gonna be Tian Ming who goes for the site. The Vice teleport out. Three smart battle, but it gets bashed up almost immediately. There's gonna be a first strike. Look at that. Axe Blast is gonna be able to land on three. Can he actually take anybody out though? Another bash on the ASD. ASD's dead. Two minutes on the clock. Now grabbing in July as well. Siler, he has to lay out the damage all by himself, but on secondary lasso. So controlling up the Raid King. Now it's him. Nobody is nearby. He can't even blink out. Immediately control them. He has a buyback. Sand King had a buyback. They both used theirs. Not many methods of acquiring vision unless they're in a stable position in the game. No, they aren't anymore. And oh my god. Move. He's Dead. down to half life with a, just only the first hit with Spirit Bell. So you know there's no extra healing. Uh, Shit comes forward as well, but now Limp looking for his own fight. Morphling, this is now his time to stand. And Storm Spirit jumps in. He pulls back into the wall. Looking for the extra combi, Z Freak jumping in, making sure I have got out of it, but with the soul mine and Unshit clipped up, he's in the right position because now from up here he can just keep the attack going. Complexity can't reach him, not break the Aegis Immortal on TA. It only had a couple of seconds left anyway, and maybe with the way formed down, Unshit right on top of Blimp. The charge actually gets secondary bash, but there is the back lines looking for the kill first over onto KP, then over towards Unshit, and these spirit vessels make it impossible for Nesky to heal an ultra kill for Miracle, and he wants to finish the set, but Storm is back at base. Maneski just Casually walk away. They now have now that casually go back in. Fatal Bonds is over on Miracle two as well as well. The Slide of Fist Searing Chain is catching out the two. It's a great disarmor control on Z Freak. They've already got the kill. The Golem does hit the deck. Again, the Fatal Bonds still on top of Miracle. The Rocks from KP are doing the work. RG will help them with that labor. The Complexity are in full retreat. A back back. Limp was thinking about us on another defensive Yule Scepter. Delay the inevitable, which is death.
The debt that all men will pay and live will pay it many, many times over. He'll buy back just to pay it all over again. Here's your spirit, jump <laughs> forward. RG will be there. GG is the call. Complexity. Hey, game one went their way. Maneski, however, it feels like they were always in control of game two. They went out with a bang, though. I mean, it's just good here with no one came Moving forward. Oh. Fire strikes underneath the observer. Z Freak gets the black hole off. Is there a seal? Is there something? Yes, he's got, he's got black hole. Look at the turn grabbing them right on top of Clint. Easy moment. They are going to hit the crits and the cleave out. Z Freak and Miracle. They're the ones who are caught in all of this whole problem. Tavo is trying to help out. Miracle's getting his life stealing as well as oh, the infest. Alive. He'll buy some more time. Can Limp get himself out this one. He's trying to retreat. No, Miracle. He oh, pops back out of Tavo. And the Tavo oh, strike. It's there from Rubik. The chain stuns it there. And Jim finally finds the Chris. Another Barra strike. This one's the real the SK. It. They just can't attack through it. Limp can finally come back into the fight, but I just couldn't have a double kill. Someone get rid of this bloody SK so we can finally start hitting. Then bringing Moon back to the fight. He's got the spirits. The Revenant jump in. Tavo under the sentry wall. Finally, they get rid of the blinding. And now well, they can kill off Team Day. They just have so much money to sustain this Maneski push.